Hi everyone, I'm Amy Uren, Chief Scientist of the NOAA Marine Debris Program. Thank you for your interest in the Marine Debris Monitoring and Assessment Project, or MDMAP. Because of people like you, we are gaining important data on the amount and type of marine debris on our shorelines. MDMAP data are publicly available so anyone can better understand the patterns of debris on our beaches, which ultimately helps us figure out how to keep our marine environment clean. Consistent methods and accurate data are important, so before you start counting and collecting debris, we encourage you to watch these four overview videos on the MDMAP method. Once completed, you'll have a clear understanding of each step, and you'll be ready to lead your own surveys. So thanks again, and we'll see you out on the shore. Thanks, Amy. Let's get started with an overview of the Marine Debris Monitoring and Assessment Project. Meet Hillary, MDMAP lead for NOAA's Marine Debris Program. Today, Hillary is heading out to the beach to do an MDMAP survey at a new site. She's excited. Let's quickly run down what Hillary's day is going to look like. First, she's going to find a friend. She's excited to introduce Michael to this project. Working as a team of at least two makes for a survey that's quicker and more fun. Next, Hillary and Michael will gather survey and safety gear and choose a site to survey. We'll cover how to choose your survey site in the next video. She'll then conduct the survey. That's the third video. Then, she'll categorize her data and upload it to the NOAA MDMAP database, which is covered in the fourth video. After that data is uploaded, NOAA reviews it and adds it to the larger database where it helps paint a picture of debris on our shores. Then, anyone can use it to ask questions like, what types of debris are most common where I live? How much debris is on the shoreline? How is it changing over time? Understanding the answers to these questions can guide education, outreach, and other prevention measures like public policy. It's the first step to keeping our beaches and water clean. And everyone likes clean beaches and water, right? So let's get going. In the next video, we'll see Hillary choose where she's going to survey.